everyone, I'm back for a, another video. Yes, I know this was a no spend month, but there were um, a few things <laughs> that I saw that I wanted to give a try, and I needed to order a few things to go in some of my lovely um, passport wallets. Like, here's my Foxy Fix Sandstorm. This is a um, Pellis Studio, and I forget what they call it, but it has a cute little inspire on it. Here's my bay, which is so gorgeous and so smooth. Um, but I went to Etsy and ordered something from Annika Handby, and let's just dive right on in and see what we got. I was very excited when I saw <laughs> what I saw. Okay, now first of all, this is wrapped so cute and so adorable. Look at that. You might hear the little puppy. He um, found one of his toys that was under the table here. Um, that is so cute. So we're going to oop, remove the invoice. Okay. So I ordered a couple of folders and something else and oh, they look so wonderful. Okay, so I ordered three folders, and look at that. It is brown with these beautiful gold circles, and let's see what the inside looks like. Flowers, I really like it. It reminds me of like a wallpaper my grandparents had in the 70s, you know, those blues and mustards and browns. But look at that, that is a gorgeous folder. Very beautiful. So there's the first folder I ordered. And then I love this like kind of um, fleur de lis design. It's really pretty. And the inside is kind of like this um, old newspaper. Um, see? Burlington Root, C and B and Q R R Chicago. Very cool. I didn't know said anything about Chicago. I um, grew up in a suburb of Chicago, Roselle. Very cool. So that's folder two. And folder three is very kind of ostentatious for me, but I thought it was really pretty. It, it's kind of this um gold foil over this cream colored paper. Again, it kind of looks like a wallpaper that one of my grandparents had in their um, dining room. And so I thought it was cool. And then the inside is, you know, very kind of 70s or sort of mod kind of, I don't know what you'd say, inspired with the, the diamonds and that forest gold color. So these were the things that I saw that first sparked my um, interest because I needed new folders and Annika makes amazing folders. I can make a very simple folder, but nothing that looks as beautiful as these. Um, but then, since everyone knows I love, you know, this passport size. I saw something else and oh look she included some cute little stickers. They're little cupcakes. Those are adorable. Very cool. That's right she's making stickers now. They're um they're little cupcakes and banners. Oh and sweet thing and yes please. Very cool. Those are cute. But this <laughs> I wasn't expecting on getting, but I saw the color, and I don't have, I have a couple of colorful notebooks, um, but I didn't have anything quite like this, and I, I'm partial to brown, and I'm totally destroying this paper. <laughs> it's a really cute paper that's kind of, um, meant to look like burlap with like doily wrapped around it. Um, but here we go. It is a, I'm not sure which is the top and which is the bottom. It's kind of like a um, passport, it's passport size, as you can see. And it is, um, it has four elastics, I think. And it is like a, a brown ombre effect. If you can see that, I don't have very 
good hearing. Let me find it, see if I can get some better lighting. Oh, no, I can't. Oh, yes I can, wait. There we go. <laughs> that might help a little. I only turned the light on like two thirds power. But you can see it has this beautiful light, lighter brown down to this dark brown. And the inside is this beautiful black. But I thought this folder would look wonderful in it. And then here, let me let me take a couple of things. I've been um, doing something very interesting this month of February, is I have been doing everything in a, um, I was testing out some new um, Prismacolor markers and I wanted to see, um, you know, what the colors looked like on, this is just one of the Midori's that come in the passport size. And it's kind of Tomio River-ish like paper. Um, and I wanted to see, you know, how long <laughs> they would bleed through. And they bleed through quite a bit, like right up until there. And then I wanted to see my Hobonichi stencils, what they look like. Um, so I've been doing all of my planning and all of my... Um, journaling and all of that fun stuff in a um passport size here we'll just grab one more which is like the midori zipper pocket which i don't have anything in at the moment because i put my stencils in my um sandstorm by foxy fix that is cute so that has very little in it. It has um, two of the Midori inserts. Um, it has the Midori zipper pocket. It has one of Annika's folders and it has a um, Midori folder. I think that's a Midori folder. Or it might be a Pella Studio folder. Um, it's got very little in there, but look how um, nice that looks. There you go. I wish Annika had a stamp or something like all of the others. And I love how the border, you can see it's been um, burnished. Maybe not, maybe. I, focus isn't my friend today, there we go. You can see how it's been burnished and how it's a lighter color than the rest. So that is what I got today. I do have a couple of other things coming. Um, <laughs> you know me. Um, but I had a few extra gigs, and so we ha I had some extra cash sitting around, and I wanted to get a few cute little things. So there you go. That's what I got from Annika, this beautiful passport size and I've never had anything dyed like that before it's very very interesting it's very unique it almost has like a um wood grain like texture and I think that's one the reason why I liked it is it looked like wood so I got that um and these cute cute folders so there's the passport folder one oops Folder two and folder three. I will link um, Annika's uh, Etsy shop down um, in the description below. And I'll also link her, um, she's got a Facebook fan page. I think just like everybody else, I think the um, all of them do. I'll even link Foxy Fix. Um, they all have um, Etsy stores, um, Facebook pages, and um, and of course, Foxy Fix has their own web page now. So if you have any questions, please leave a comment down below and I will answer as quickly as I can. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye bye.